Okay, this is my Elicent uh, inline fan that I use for all my uh, air cleaning projects. I got several of them. This is 309 CFM. Uh, I got 150 CFM. I got quite a few of them. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do today is open this thing up to make sure it's clean inside. See if there's any uh, dust that's been accumulated. Um, so normally the way I make my air cleaners is I plunk this guy. I simply plunk my inline fan on top of my uh, HEPA filter. Uh, like so very easy and all the air gets sucked through the filter so the fan blades and that should not get dirty um, the way I do it however this unit was used on a can carbon uh, filter which are really bad for particle emission they get rid of odor as well but they have to be uh, post HEPA filtered after this air must go through HEPA filter or it will get your air and your fan very dirty uh, this one was very briefly used in one, so I don't think it's going to be too bad. But we're going to open it up and have a look here. You just take off the screws. There's four screws. There's two on each side like that. Uh, very small screws. And they just unscrew easily, and the unit just pops off. The lid, exposing the, uh, the rotors. Here it is. And this comes off real easy, too. I might need a second hand for this, but see if I can do it with one hand. Here we go. Sorry, gonna put it down. Okay, there we go. Don't want to damage that cable right there, but here's the rotor uh, assembly, and I'm just gonna get a rag and make sure I cleaned it out. There it is. It looks to be like it's a little bit dusty. It doesn't look to be too bad. But we want this thing to be 100% spotless because any dust on here can be easily put back into the air, will be put back into the air. So we want to clean it out. The only reason it probably has that dust is probably because it was used in one of these things. I cannot stress enough now how important it is to, um, to double filter these things. To uh, use a larger can filter like this, like this size, and then put your HEPA filter in, in the middle and pull the air through a HEPA filter. Or run this uh, from here into a separate air cleaner because the carbon dust was so bad on the other one that I uh, cleaned out the other day. It was just uh, caked on and it was uh, a used fan that I had got from somebody that used in one of these things, but it was just really nasty and it took me several hours to get it clean. But this one's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I don't use it uh, in a carbon filter like that again, not without HEPA filtering it afterwards. And uh, if you're purchasing a used fan, because some of the ones I purchased were used, and you have to be careful, you don't know what that person has been running through that, uh, that motor because whatever they've been using it for is going to be on that motor. Um, so you want to either make sure it's from someone that you knew what they were using it for, or um, you take it apart like this and just give it a good cleaning. And they come apart like I showed you very, very easily, no problem at all. It allows you to thoroughly access, you know, every part of it. I can stick my finger in a cloth in there and I can clean every little nook and cranny. So it's not bad at all. It looks like it's very easy to clean. The last one was, well, it took a lot of work, but but the way it is here, it's very easy to clean. And uh, we're going to get get at it right now. And um, what else can I say about it? Um, yeah, I've been a big advocate of these these things for odor. But when I seen how much dirt was on that last filter, it was just totally mind-boggling. Um, it's so bad that I would need, I would not recommend pumping air from these can carbon filters into your air unless it is HEPA filtered afterwards. Um, I don't know how hazardous the carbon dust may be to inhale, but I imagine it's probably not good. I mean, inhaling nothing is good. You know, you want clean air, so. Um, yeah, if the fan was getting dirty, then the air was getting dirty. Luckily, that was not used in my place. Um, this one was just used briefly. But we're going to get it to nice and clean and get it put back together. And then all we have to do is pop it on top of our uh, HEPA filter here. My uh, filter and just with a plastic lid on the bottom. Air conditioner filter. A reducer's tape to there. And that's all there is to it. Pull the air through. And my fan blades should stay clean uh, running it like put the HEPA filter. Alrighty. 
There it is, my illicit fan.